Rapid River, Michigan. All right, so this right here, pretty sure I know who this is from, the KBD Line and Lure Company. What do we have here? We have Kevin Van Dam's Line and Lure, power steering for your fishing. We've got you covered, fishing gear, boat, motorcycle, truck, car, RV, ATV, jet ski, line and lure. And on the front of the shirt, it says Line and Lure Pro Staff. This is a product that I believe in. I've been using this for years. I've tried other brands. If you use the other brands, that's cool, that's fine, that's great. But KVD Line and Lure is the line conditioner that I choose and the only one that I will use. Uh, I've been using it for what, now about over six years. So, what is this? All service protectant. Protectant BTS, bow to stern. Okay, for a boat. You see that this right here is Arma Shield. Okay. I talked to Isaac, that's who it was, over at the company that makes basically KVD Line and Lure. And I mean, it's not gonna change my content. I'll post when I can. And wow, I just have a mess all over the place. Look, okay, Line and Lure. Outfish, Outcast, Outlast, yes. I've re I already have two videos that I've done uh, about KVD line and lure that are on my channel from 2017 and 2018. You guys can check those out if you want. And yeah, let's tell you about that. What else do we hit? Oh my. Do you see this? Every single bottle in this bag is a sample of KVD line and lure. Yes, it is. Cool. See? Look. Open it. Put some on like that. Okay, so I have some samples that I can be giving away to some people when I fish at Lake St. Clair and a bunch of other places. Cool. Good stuff. Um, I mean, hey. The four ounce line and lure bottle it's my favorite size yep and then even though i've already said this in videos before directions or shake well before use and you apply four to five sprays directly on the line spool allow first application to dry completely so i don't even have to read this i already have okay what i do is i will spray it on my spool at night let it sit overnight and then i am good to go and we have another bottle of line lure, power stream for your fishing, uh, salt water formula. Okay. Or no, wait, excuse me. New combined formula. Well. And then you have your arm shield protectant, another bottle of line and lure, another bottle of line and lure, and the protectant, okay. So that's a lot of line and lure. And another thing, um, for those of you that are new to my channel, I can't believe I have this much line and lure. Um, does KVD line and lure work? Yes. Is it worth it in my opinion? Yes. Uh, has it ever deteriorated my line or broken it down to the point where I do not like it or I will not use it? No. Um, that is me being honest from my experience. Like I've told you guys before, like anytime I talk about line and lure, Mega Bass, Shimano, Strike King, any brand of bait that I like, whatever. These are things that I believe in. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways when I'm out fishing. This is really cool. Um, and by the way, thank you to Dynovatech. I will be using 
some of these. I, I already have some line and lure that I bought. I will be using that and doing some giveaways and some cool stuff. So, I mean, I hope you guys like this unboxing. And if you're wondering, is this going to change my content? No, this is not going to change my content. This isn't going to change the fishing videos I do, the unboxings, nothing. I have to get this mess cleaned up and take a look here on the bottle. We'll have the directions. And it will tell you some of the things that it guarantees what it will do, how it's anti-corrosive. It's good for the screens on your boat, your rod guides. Uh, it will not harm any pieces of the reel. Uh, dramatically improves casting distance control, no oily residue, extends life, protects gear, like I've already said. Now, some people have asked me, is it, uh, is it just as good for braid? Will it work with braid? Yes, it will. And another thing that you can do, I've found that you can either, you, you can do this a few ways, and I'm only talking about this and showing this because I've had people ask me. As you're spooling your bait caster, you can put some line on your fluorocarbon, spray it, put some more on, spray it, three or four sprays. Or you can spool the entire thing, spray it, let it sit, or sit overnight, and you'll be good. Now, another thing that you can also do, excuse me, another way, is you can spray the spool in the box, that's one way, or... You could also, you could also take a rag, spray the rag, spray the spool, and put it on as you're spooling your line, okay? Just wanted to show you that. Now, another thing, okay, is you can do it any one of the ways, but the way that I prefer is spraying it as I'm spooling it and then letting it sit overnight. Um, you'll notice that after a couple uses, it'll... It maybe feel like it went away a little bit. Well, that's why, like, after the original application of the product, I'll make that cast, whatever pitch, and then I'll spray one once in a great while. I do not overdo it. I do follow the directions and only give it one or two sprays. And I also do highly recommend this product, like I've said before. Um, also, do me a favor. If you guys have used this and you like this, let me know in the comments below. Um, I've been wanting to say that about letting me know in the comments about do me a favor and check out KBD Line and Lure if you have not already. Um, all of the claims that it has on the bottle, I believe to be completely true. Like I said, I believe in this product, I stand by this product, and I've liked this product for years. So, KBD Line and Lure, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Eh, I'm okay, I don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm not like crazy good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a pro or nothing, but do you want like, you want a green pumpkin tube or a goby tube? I'll try anything on. Here. What's that? Got some tubes. Yeah, if you, wait a minute, let me what what color do you have uh, because if you if you take a quarter hold on i'll get it i'm all over the place um if you take okay if you take a take a quarter ounce tube jig okay quarter ounce or a three eighths i have both put this on the tube jig and tie it onto your spinning rod you should be good all right right here wait you got smoke red you got okay so check this out here i'll just give this to you just go like this i got you just take just tie that on yeah. and then fish it like slowly on the bottom yeah like a texas rig or something you know what i mean exactly yeah, yeah. Let me know if it works. I'm gonna be throwing a jerk bait and a drop shot, I think. Yep. Where is it? Oh man. I don't even know what I wanna throw, what I wanna do. I'm just excited to be out here.